Welcome back to In the Kitchen with Grace. I hope you all are doing wonderfully well. Today we're doing a really simple, easy, healthy, fun fall fruit salad. It has grapes, uh, blueberries, apples. We're gonna do a little cinnamon orange dressing for it. Super easy and it's delicious, of course. So what I have done is I'm actually just gonna use the bowl I am going to store the fruit salad in in the refrigerator. Um, and I've got about two cups of red grapes. I am going to add to my bowl. And I have already rinsed off my grapes. I probably should rinse off my blueberries as well. But do one cup of one kind of berry or you can split it up and throw in a little variety of berries. Blueberries, raspberries, blackberries. Um, today I'm going to use a little bit of blueberries. Probably about half a cup. And I am actually going to use about a fourth cup of cranberries. Um, we just did last week, just a sprinkling there of the cran dried cranberries. We did um, batches of apple crisp because we had all these apples from our apple trees. I'm going to make an amazing traditional old fashioned apple crisp. But last week we threw a twist on it and added cranberries and pecans to it. And it was so good. But I have leftover cranberries and pecans to use up. So I'm going to put those in this fruit salad. Um, and actually, I'm going to go ahead and add my pecans as well. Anywhere from half a cup to a cup is fine. I'm just going to use my hand here. I guess I didn't quite use them up. I'll have to throw them in some like banana bread or muffins or something. Um, and then before I cut the apples now, because apples brown so quickly, uh, when you cut them, I'm going to make my dressing first. And you want the zest and the juice of one orange. And so I am going to carefully get some zest off this orange. This year it's been all about lemons and limes for me in the kitchen. So it's fun to get back to orange and grapefruit. That being fall, the winter citrus season's almost here. Speaking of grapefruit, I have a really yummy, healthy grapefruit smoothie bowl recipe. Check that out. Lots of fruit smoothie bowls, actually. I really like those. I'm one of those people that when it comes to fresh fruit, I like it with something or blended in or mixed in with something. I don't I really like to eat it just plain. And so anytime I come up with a smoothie or a fruit salad, um, I'm all over it. Especially when you're a mom and you have kids and kids are picky eaters too. Um, coming up with different ways to get them to get their fruit and their veggies in is always a plus. Alright, that should be good. If you take a look at the back here, you can see I've got all this orange zest. It's weird for me because I live in the Midwest, but I have family down in Florida where it's natural orange citrus growing and it just tastes phenomenally different to have oranges from down there than what we get up here. So every time I'm using oranges, I'm thinking about uh, the fresh ones back there. This is a large orange. I'm going to see how much juice half gives me. And then uh, if you got smaller orange, you might want to use two. It's a pretty soft and juicy orange. Go ahead and use the other half here and get the vitamin C in there. If you're new, welcome. I do all sorts of super easy, mostly healthy. I mean, let me tell you, I love to bake. So we've got definitely got desserts on this channel, but um, I love to do recipes that incorporate fresh fruits, herbs, and veggies from the garden. And I'm a busy mom, so anything that's a healthy, quick lunch for me, healthy, quick dinner for our family at night, I'm all about it. All right, I've got the orange juice washed off my hand. I am going to grab some cinnamon. What about three, four teaspoon or so of cinnamon? Maybe not quite a full teaspoon. And then I'm gonna grab maple syrup and I'm using real maple syrup. It's 
totally worth it. Let me tell you, I used to live off, I love like pancakes and waffles and stuff. I used to have them all the time when I was younger for breakfast. And then as I got older, I switched to using real maple syrup and I will not go back to the old stuff. <laughs> uh, let's see, we're gonna do two tablespoons here of maple syrup, especially when it comes to cooking and baking. Like if it's just pancakes, all right, I'll have traditional syrup, but when I'm gonna bake and cook, I like to use the good stuff. Okay. I'm gonna give this a nice little mix. Get the cinnamon in there good. All right, let's set that to the side. We're gonna grab our apples and I've got one good sized apple and one smaller apple. Um, you want about two, you want like two apples worth, probably about a cup and a half or so of apples. So use what you've got and gauge whether you wanna use just one or one and a half or two apples. And I'm leaving the peels on. Lots of nutrients in the skin of the apples. And I'm gonna cut this into bite-sized pieces. I'm gonna to just toss it right into our bowl of grapes and blueberries and cranberries. I have sitting here this really pretty little bouquet of flowers. I garden. I do a lot of vegetable and herb gardening, but I grow flowers as well. And so um, it's end of summer, so a lot of stuff is kind of reaching the end of its peak season. But I had to put together a little pretty vase. You can... Um, follow my gardening and my my herbs and fruit trees and my flowers and flower bouquets and all that at uh, Fields of Grace IA on Facebook. Um, I'll try to remember to link to that below as well. Oh, speaking of social media, you guys, we just started our In the Kitchen with Grace Instagram. Uh, so I will leave the link to that below also for you. Um, it's a new page, so if they're, you're looking at one of our older recipe videos, the link might be to the old page. We need to start a new one, so. Okay. It's all right if you have a little bit of brown on your apples. It doesn't mean it's gone bad. Um, it just means that it's turning into sugar. It's natural fruit sugars, kind of like with bananas. All right, I need to grab my spoon, set the apple peels to the side. Let's grab the spoon. I'm gonna to toss this just a little bit before I add in the dressing. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually add some granola to this as well. However, if it's gonna sit, if you're not gonna eat it right away, uh, the granola would get uh, wet with the dressing. But if you're gonna like pull out some salad, you want to add a little healthy grains to it, you could add granola to the top of your fruit salad. Okay, let's add our dressing. Get that cinnamon out. Make sure you get everything coated well with the cinnamon, orange, and uh, maple syrup. Let's scoop a little up. I just had some potato soup for lunch today. Need a little fruit here to go with it. So I'm gonna scoop some up and there we go. Super tasty, it's healthy, it's kind of refreshing and it's got those wonderful, delightful fall scents and flavors for you. Thank you guys for watching today and we will see y'all next time.